Now, if you love installing applications onto your 4K Fire Stick or your Fire TV Cube or your Android TV device, you have to ask yourself that, how can I be sure that they're not monitoring my activity or logging my data? How can I completely trust these third-party applications? Well, in this video today, let me show you a super easy method that works great on the Fire Stick or really any Android device. And it'll quickly tell you the applications installed on your device are completely safe. And I'll also show you how you can identify a false positive. So even if a virus scanner says an application is not safe, how you can actually know if you can use it or not. So please do take a moment to hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. Okay, so to get this application on your Fire Stick or your Android TV device, just head over to your settings, MyFi TV, go to developer options, click on install unknown apps and make sure downloader is set to on. And this just means that we can download applications through downloader. Once you've confirmed that, let's now press the home key and open downloader. Inside downloader, we can make a quick connection to my website, which is just techdoctoruk.com or you can type in the short code 53402. Once you've done that, let's click on go and this will take you directly to my website. Now, when you get to my website, if you head over to the hamburger menu, which is one with the three lines, let's click on that. Click on tutorials and the latest tutorial in the list will be how we can get the updated version of Virus Total. Let's open that up. Here we are. So although this application is designed for your cell phones, you can run it on your Fire Sticks or your Android TV devices. Now, if you scroll down, now one of the best things about Virus Total is that it doesn't just use a single scanning engine. It has more than 50 different engines they can use to work out if an application is malicious or not. Let's scroll down. Now what I've actually done is I've actually added two versions to this page. We have the version that works on any Amazon device and it doesn't need any mouse toggle. And we have the very latest version. So depending on your device, you may choose this one, but as I'm doing my demonstration on the 4K Fire Stick Max and I don't want to use a mouse toggle, I'm going to go for this one here. Let's click on that, scroll down, and you're looking for this green download button. Let's click on that now. The application is only a few meg in size, so yeah, that's already done. I can now click on install, give that a second. I can click on done. I can now press the home key. Now, before I open up the application, I've actually installed AppLink. Now, I don't really use this application, especially since it was handed over to another developer or a set of developers. And since then, I know there's been lots of reports online where this application has lots of red flags on virus total. So just to show you for this demonstration, I've also installed the application as well. And let's now start virus total. Now initially it looks like this because the application was designed for a phone or a tablet, but you could install set orientation if you want to fix it. But as it's only really for the first screen, I can just ignore it. And this is one of the things that is fixed in the latest version. So if you do use that version, that does properly format for your TVs or your Android TV devices. So I can now just click on scan or just press select on the remote. This will now initiate a complete scan on my device. We can now ignore this message. And here we are guys. So this now shows you all of the applications installed on my machine. I can scroll down just to show you. And we can see for most of the applications, it says detected zero. And next to that, it shows you how many engines were scanned. So we can see for Iversy, we had not detected and it was scanned against 71 engines. This Just Watch application was scanned against 72 engines. Now, the good thing is the way it orders the applications is it orders them in order of severity. So the ones with the most flags go right to the top. So let's go to the top now. And if any of you guys are still here with me, then if you drop a like on this video and leave the comment hashtag Friday, then I know you made it this far in the video, which I always appreciate. I'll then heart your comment. And here we can see we have AppLinked or this version of AppLinked, which has 14 detections out of 69. Uh, let's click on that first. This now shows you the report and it shows you all of the engines, including some very well-known ones like Avast and Avast Mobile. So these engines and McAfee, so these engines have all detected this application and they found that either it contains Trojans or malware, or basically it's not really safe for use. 
So now in this case, with you know these many detections, which is a total of 14 out of 69, there's no debate, I should really uninstall this application. But we can see for the second one, it does have two detections out of 72, but we can see the virus total is still marking as green. So overall, this is where you'd say it's a false positive. If I click on that, we can see just two engines that have identified this could be problematic, but overall, I mean, we have more than 60 engines that are saying it's clean. So in this example, I would say that this application is perfectly fine to use and we can ignore those two particular engines. And you can really follow this example for any application on your device because I know lots of you do like to install third-party applications from lots of different sites. So double check your applications, do a complete scan. And in most cases, if you only have one or two or just literally a handful of detections, but more importantly, you have downloaded it from a trustworthy YouTuber or somebody else that you trust online, then in those cases, those applications can still be safely used. So that's pretty much it guys. So really nice application, very easy to use. It does do that complete scan as soon as you launch it and it'll quickly tell you if any application on your device has any issues, is malicious or you know is data mining. But in most cases, with most of the applications you hope should be completely safe. So that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. Please double check to make sure that you are subscribed to this channel, my extra channel. And this is where I'll be doing my next live stream the next few days where I'll be answering all of your tech questions, your streaming questions, your VPN questions, anything related to streaming or tech, I'll try my best to cover. So really appreciate your support. Do like and share this video and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.